there and welcome. Today I'm going to check the pHs of my conditioners. A couple weeks ago I put up a video where I checked the pHs of a lot of my shampoos and I explained why the pH matters. We talked about how the optimum pH for hair products is 5.5 or lower and we also talked about why that is. To recap, your hair is acidic and if you put a product on it that is more basic than your hair, that is going to make your hair even more negatively charged, which is going to cause frizz and static. Those are things we don't like, especially when we have curly hair. And we talked a little bit about why that happens, about how water isn't just water. H2O, or water, is made up of an oxygen and two hydrogens, which are constantly breaking apart into H and OH and then reforming again into H2O. But when they're broken apart, the H is positively charged and the OH is negatively charged. An acidic solution is just one that has a higher proportion of H pluses and a basic solution is just one that has a higher proportion of OH negatives. The pH at which hair has a net negative charge this is a good thing because less frizz. That pH is 3.67. It's called the isoelectric point. If you put a hair product on your hair that is higher than pH 3.67, which is all of the shampoos I tested, then your hair is going to lose H plus molecules to the OH negative molecules in that product. But never fear, we also talked about how we can overcome that with conditioner. Your conditioners have cationic or positively charged molecules that bind to the negative charges on your hair and help cut down on that frizz. Since all of my shampoos are higher pH than 3.67, I'm interested in my conditioners today, so that's what we're going to test. First up, I have the Matrix Biolage Hydrosource Conditioner. So this one, the strip stayed yellow, which is pH 6. So I guess it's a good thing it has all those cationic conditioning agents. My next conditioner is the VO5 Strawberries and Cream. So this one also turned the strip yellow, which is again pH 6. My next conditioner is Garnier Whole Blends Coconut Water and Aloe Vera. Let's see what we got. This one turned the strip a tiny slight bit orange, so I would call this one between pH 5 and 6, 5.5. Next I'm going to show you some leave-in conditioners. I have the Curls Blueberry Bliss Reparative Leave-In Conditioner. This one is trying to turn the strip green, but it doesn't quite, so that puts it around pH 7, maybe 6.5. These aren't wildly accurate, and as you can tell, it depends on interpretation and what color you see. Moving on, I have Kinky Curly, Not Today. This one looks yellow to me, I'm going to call it pH 6. Last but not least, I have the As I Am Leave-In Conditioner. This one looks yellow to me as well, so again, another pH 6. My conditioners were all pretty consistently pH 6. Just to prove that my pH test strips can turn a color besides yellow, I'm going to show you what water looks like. My water turns the pH test strip pretty dark green. I think it's close to pH 8. Alright, well, thank you for watching, and as always, stay curly.